This is the interface to the uh, climate model where you can control different parameters of, of the uh, climate model. And you can also see the output. So when you click on this run button, you hear noise, it runs. Then it shows you the output. And so what's shown here is temperature, solar input, and CO2 concentration in the atmosphere. Each of those has its own different scale on the vertical axis, which makes the, these graphs a little bit tricky to read. You can get the values of the uh, different model parameters just by putting your cursor over the line that tells you the time and the, uh, the uh, value of each of, those, each of those parameters. If you click on, on this little tab here, it switches to other graphs. So here's showing the energy in and the energy out. And notice that they're the same, so it's going to be in steady state. Watch what happens if I change the initial temperature. Now I'm going to raise the temperature. <clears throat> so initially, the temperature is very high. That means the energy out is going to be big, bigger than the energy in, because I haven't changed the solar input. So let's see what happens. So sure enough, the energy out initially is, is quite high, 260, energy in, 240. So it's losing more than it's gaining, and it's going to cool. And in fact, if we come back here, we see yep, the temperature starts out at 26 or so, and then it, the temperature drops back down to its steady state temperature of 15. So you can adjust any of these things either by you know typing in a new value here, or you move the sliders back and forth uh, for these different parameters like so. CO2 multiplier, same thing like that. If you want to restore everything to the way it was at the beginning. You hit this button here, everything's back to normal. It's got these two switches down here that turn on the solar cycle switch. Watch what happens now. So the solar input here, the red curve, is going up and down, up and down, simulating the sunspot cycle. Turn that off, restore everything. If I turn on the albedo switch here, then it's going to make the albedo of the planet change as a function of temperature. And so that's what you have to do for one of the, uh, the later experiments with this model. So uh, that's the way it works. Let me just show you one other thing here. If you click uh, to page three, this shows the temperature at, uh, um, for different model runs. So if I do this, it shows that. If I uh, start off with the temperature being very cold, then it adds that to this graph and it scales them. So they're both shown. Um, they're all th now all three are shown on one graph, and you can see no matter what the starting temperature, this one uh, will evolve into this steady state where the temperature is about 15 degrees C. Um, okay, that's it.